world never seems, seems Jeff, to be, to be living, living up to your dreams. dreams. That fireworks show. You know that that's the beginning of the video. That fireworks show and us singing Facts of Life. All right. That's, that's fantastic. All right. Jeff, so here we are in 2023. Atari has pretty much abandoned Atari Vault. Yeah, what's that They're, message you, uh, that came up? A message came up and said that um, that we need to move over to Atari 50, which is fine. Atari 50 is cool too, but Atari Vault had this amazing feature where you could play Atari VCES games multiplayer online. And so I think we should play a few starting with games we've never played before. Let's do it. And the first one I found on this list was Sword Fight by M Network. I'm not sure this was even ever released. Let's, but let's <laughs> look at the was, information and see. Let's look at the information. Sure, let's the look at the manual here. So Sword Fight for two players. It says it's by Retrotopia, so someone put it out, probably late. Two two knights face each other at the edge of the universe gripping their laser swords they advance prepared to fight to the death so basically it's a star wars lightsaber game that was you know unlicensed right so here's the 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 uh controls offense you press up to the left left swing overhead swing pressing up right swing press up to the right then defense left block overhead block right block so basically advance and retreat by pressing the red button I don't know. Okay. Oh, interesting. And then, uh, oh, development history. Um, Stephen Tatsumi, designer of Sword Fight, was one of the world famous Blue Sky Rangers. The video game programmers from Mattel Electronics, best known for television, the Blue Sky Rangers, also designed games for the 2600, Click Division, IBM PC, Apple II, Aquari and the Aquarius. Steve designed and programmed Kool Aid Man. Released in 1983 for the Atari 2600, he also designed and started several other original 2600 games. One of these was Sword Fight. He was able to take through to completion. Sword Fight was inspired by Steve's dissatisfaction with another Atari sword fighting game. Its characters were too small for the player to get any feel of the combat. Steve set out to create a battle with large characters with a joystick could be wielded like a sword. I love it. As Steve developed the game, he and Ron, Ron Surratt manager of the Atari 2600 group spent hours playing it. Steve used these bouts to fine tune the controls. The results are deceptively simple. Three offensive swings and three blocks. But once players got familiar with the moves, long and challenging battles were possible. Many Blue Sky Rangers became fans of the game. Despite this, Mattel Electronics did not release Sword Fight. But Jeff, ready to accept the game of Sword Fight. There we are. Ready to start. Here we go. Press the button for your sword to show up. Yeah, I do. Press you press once to go forward and then and then to go back. And I'm not sure how to hit you with the sword. I understand that you put you okay, anyway. Press up to the left or up. up some to pretty the left, cool animations the right. of the of the arms moving. Yeah. And stuff like that. You have to use if you're using arrow keys. You have to use two arrow keys. I am not blocking. The shit. I mean, button mashing is uh, the, the since I'm not using a joystick. I'm kind of button mashing. Can I use, oh, you can use, wait, no, you can't. You have to, I have to use the, uh, the D-pad on the Xbox. You can control. actually swing left and right. Yeah, I know. He it's did some good animation. It's just, it's just, if you, I knew what I was doing. Oh. Game over. Game over. It doesn't, like, it just dumps us out, though. Like, what, like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, I mean, it's not the most user-friendly. Air Sea Battle. Air Sea like Battle. Uh, my thing is, 
is hearing my version playing sound anyway, right? So, I mean, I'm getting all the sounds. I'm getting all. I'm getting sounds. Yeah, am I not? How can I shoot? Like, you press the. But you're not able to press the button. I don't know. I'm able to shoot by pressing the fire button. Oh, so it, it. So do we have to shoot things of certain colors or anything, or just? Is it, is it, is it and then so. the way you move your thing back, your little um. Your thing back and forth down there. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. Um, is I think up and down, like up and down. Yeah. Have, but then you came in. Okay, so two players. Oh no, we want diagonals. Oh yeah. I think what else can we have? Speed We're up. Play the hardest one. Oh, we want to wrap too. Yes. I'm using keyboard. That's I know. Fine. I have an Atari joystick, USB joystick, but it doesn't really work with with um, with uh, Steam. All right, well, this was super fun, but I think we can quit it now. Okay. I don't think I ever read this. How to play. It doesn't have any, like, it's like, use your joystick controller, prolong the life, how to play outlaw. One or two players become expert gunslingers during these games. One player games, two player games. It doesn't really have any, like, outlaw lore. It just, it just... Tells you what's happening. Yeah, That's we really need, we don't need the game. We need outlaw lore. Ready? No. This game. It, and I guess at the time that was like it was gonna work. That was for like, the desktop thing. That was to make sure that the for the, for the burn in. The direction track direction control forward to use the nitro. Wriggle the direction control to get out of the mud bog. All right. They were trying to squeeze as much as they could out of they this were. controller because okay. it's like, how about just make a two button controller, guys? All right, we're gonna host this motor rodeo thing now. Based and we're ready to start. And we're gonna go easy, easy. Go down to easy. Yeah. There's. I don't know what this means. Okay, so, alright, so here we go. Are you pushing forward to move? Which you press? I'm not doing anything. Oh, so I'm at the bottom. That's why. That's why it wasn't working. I'm at the bottom. Oh, I thought I was at the, I thought I was at the bottom last time. I don't know. It could, because of the way these controls work, either one of us could be at the bottom or at the top. People just want to look this. No, no it looks like a Game and Watch compared to. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize to Game and Watch fans, but it looks like a Game and Watch compared to the NES. So anyway, yeah, I, I think I won. Let's, what's the next one you want to play? Well, you got to wait till you're done. Okay, here's the manual. Okay, it's loading up. It's Sprint Master. It's one of those beautiful, Tremiel like black and white and red manuals. Here we go. We're just gonna start this right now. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So which one am I? Am I red? You're blue. Red is speed is red. Right. No. Speed red. I thought they're different. I thought we. we I thought those extra weapons were for us. Well, or I, I or picked, is that not true? I picked one up and I picked up speed. Okay, game you over. So blue one. You, so I I thought we could. Okay. You know what? Right. It, you know what? Atari um, Real Sports Volleyball is modeled after a traditional game of volleyball where two teams hit a ball back and forth, volley it over the net. If the serving team misses the ball or hits it out of bounds, the other team gets awarded the serve. If the receiving team misses the ball or hits it out of bounds, the serving team is awarded one point. That's okay, how so long ago this ball. was, because side out, they don't do that anymore. That's side out. Now they just, every right. time the ball goes out, you get a point, no matter you're serving or not. Yeah, that's, because they wanted to speed up the game. They had to speed the game up. Okay. I shouldn't be all tricky. Okay, Remember there was a really bad movie filmed in our hometown called Side Out? Yes. With, uh, with, uh... You call one, us one of the guys from Taps. C. Thomas Howell. It wasn't Howell. C. Thomas Howell. Right. It was, that was... He wasn't in Taps. Oh, he wasn't? No, but I... I you mean, you 
Who's the, the dude? In, who's the dude in Taps? Who was like the, um, the the supposedly the good guy? I mean, you know, not Sean Penn. I, I don't know. I beautiful man, remember. beautiful. Okay, you're about to kick my. That butt. was Tom Cruise. That was Tom Cruise. No, yeah, that was Tom Cruise. Tom. Joining Seven game. Here. All right, we're gonna go start. Start. So who is? Oh, if I'm putting in a name, I'm gonna be. In a name? Is it, yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is 5200 tennis. No, this is. It, no, this, this is gotta 20, be the 5200. No, it's 2600. Steve. No way. Yeah. There's twice really? the tennis. Yeah. There's a 5200 one that, that's better than that. You 5200 when you need like all of the keys on the thing to hit the ball properly. How did they get your name in there? Mm. They figured out a way to let those graphics. Um, you, you're you're serving. Uh, there's no way this is this is not this is I gotta I gotta I I, I disagree this with you. This is definitely 2600 tennis. Real sports. Okay, but I don't remember the thing with your name at the top. Okay, maybe you're right. You can run really, really fast. I mean, again, this is a lot like Accuracy Tennis, but this is the template for every tennis game to come, right? Except except when the Nintendo one would have like a Super Smash or whatever you would do to make it not really a sports game anymore. Dream. I think the Real screen got moved up a little bit. Except, okay. uh, wow, on the side of the screen, it gives all the, like, jump shot is numb one. Good luck, good luck See, mapping those. Hey, hey, hey. So look, I mean, just my thing about title screens. Like, this is just using the 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 eight bit Atari, you know, like like giant text screen. It's cool. I mean, I yeah, they didn't. Start it. That's because. Well, um, press start. The start. Okay. Oh, it's still one dude. Oh wait, I get. Oh my god, it, I do get a list on the side about like. Hold on a second. Am I blue? No. Uh, I am. Oh, blue. it uses. I did. Huh. Actually, I don't can't hate. Actually, it. shoot. I don't hate what it looks like, at least though. No, but I'm like, I'm like, how do I shoot? I... <laughs> it's just, wait, this is called pen. This should be called Penny Camp. It's basically our, <laughs> our grammar That's school. Right. Our, and this like, clicky boy. <laughs> All right, that was entertaining. Main menu. All right, get ready to start. Not a lot of choice, but. I don't even know I chose anything. Yeah. So am I the am I the, am I the white guy? Yeah, you're the white guy. Oh! I mean, me, I can, I should be able to hit you in the face that many times and not go down. Oh, oh! I, I, I was correct. I, I should, I knocked you out. Look how flat you become. Like you're dead. <laughs> I like know you're you. Peel you off the thing. Okay, let's try something else. That was awesome. Hey. Okay. The picture up here hasn't updated itself yet. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Okay, so. Let me see here. I don't know. I just threw you a. So you're pitching, right? Ball, I, guess. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I wasn't. I'm not moving around. Hold on. Do I have to like? Wait. You know, you you're pitching. Oh, that's why. You're just running your first baseman out there. That's why. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, who, look at that. Keep going. Go, go. No, go. Can I not go? want to see uh, uh, any hit to the outfield is, is going to be a run in because I don't know how to switch to a guy to, to get the ball but but oh. what the hell okay. let's move please right, let's right. go on to something else but it probably is better with joysticks let's put it that way all right let's let's go through and find one more game to play okay, okay. one more and game let's play so, that game of starship no no please no Please don't. Yes, I want you to play the one where you play the asteroid. I'm an asteroid, and you're... Wait, that can't be the finale. Cannot be Starship. Okay, but I still want to play this really bad. I've been wanting to, I want to play this for a really long time. Every time... Ever since I found out there was a game where one guy plays the asteroid. But is that like the asteroid costume from Halloween? 
I have no idea. Did you get <laughs> any invite codes for the Starship? <laughs> yes, it is. I have. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, but <laughs> I personally think this is the worst Atari VCS game. But I have to give them credit because it was made in '77. So, yeah, no, <clears throat> no. I think, I think I'm trying to land on you, and you're the asteroid or something. Okay. You move, you, sh you should be moving the asteroid. Um, yeah, I think... No. I'm moving the... I'm sorry, I'm the asteroid. Oh, okay. That's, that's more, that's more uh, to the point that you be the asteroid. I don't know. Like, did you did you get a point? Oh, you got a point for landing on the asteroid. Yeah, actually... How come I didn't get a point? Actually, this game looks pretty... It looks pretty good. Well, I mean, it's for a... For like you a, are kind of flying through space. I don't know why I'm the asteroid, like what my point is. They had to be... Too, they were, to, it looks steep. Someone said at Warner, make it a two-player game. Some guy said, okay, I'll be the <laughs> but Let's, hold on. Let's just... Score one point every time you land on the moon. Your only obstacles are slow-moving meteor showers. Okay. I didn't see that. The two-player game lasts four minutes and 32 seconds. After the first half of the game, a lunar lander changes from blue to orange. And the right joystick controls the moon movement. The left joystick controls the lunar lander. That way, both players have a chance to score. During the final 16 seconds... Well, I don't want to play the game anymore. Let's go play Space, Space War. Space War, yeah. <clears throat> yeah All right. Oh, oh, wow. I forgot that you're... Oh, you have a limited number of shots, too. Pretty good death match. What? It's it actually is more fun than combat because you at least combat airplanes. The combat tanks is bitching, but yes. airplanes is kind of hard because there wasn't that much to do. You know, there's not there's do nowhere I to not, hide. Do I you, not have any more shots? Okay, you got a bunch of shots up there. I just flew into the sun. Well, I'm not able to fire. Yeah. I don't know. I thought you had shots up there, but you're, but you're, but you're, oh, part of it's your shield. Oh, no, you ran out of shots. The she you also have shield. That's what you're Wait a minute. On there. Wait a minute. Do I just get to run into the sun to get more? Remember? People chase from one to four players. Nah. Do you know this is a, I think Carol Shaw made this game? It needs paddles too. Is it Carol Shaw or, or, um, or the, or, read the does it have a history here? Something, maybe there's something in it. No, it's it's it, it, it might have been Carla Maninsky. It's one. Of, I think it's either Carla Maninsky or or Carol Shaw made Steeple Chase. Anyway, um, and it was was it was only released as a series telegame. Yes. Let's try it. We played with three players, which is weird because we don't have three players. But okay. Oh, because it was a computer playing. Okay, so what do we do? Is it paddles? Uh, I don't, I don't know, know which, one, which I one I am. I think I'm the yellow one. What plays? Um, I've had enough of this. It says it's going to go on for another minute and 39 seconds over my dead body. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, we only tethered together? Yeah. What's the idea? I'm red. Um, okay. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you both have. There you have the facts of life. The facts of life. The kind, got it. The time you gotta grow oh, and chill. Go no. And chill. Oh no! The time you gotta go and chill. You're growing now. You know about the facts of life. The facts of life. When the world never seems, seems Jeff, to be to living, be living up, up to your dreams. dreams. That fireworks show. You know that that's the beginning of the video. That fireworks show and us singing Facts of Life. All right.
Rocket Studios Production.